Now is the time in our service for the story for all ages. So if all the young people in body or spirit uh, would like to join me in front, I'd love to have you up here. So come on up. I'm not really scary. Okay, great, thanks. Come on up. And Pratik is going to help me by holding the book open for me. All right, so the book I'm going to read to you, I don't necessarily always want to read books, but this one is kind of special. Um, the author of the book, she wanted to find, she had seen the art of this particular artist who does the book. He's a Syrian man who um, makes art concerning the upheaval and conflict that's going on in his country. And his art is very unique. He uses river stones. And um, the river stones, even though they're flat, they enable you to see um, the emotions of the figures in the book. So look at that. Do they, do, they, what, do they look happy or sad? What do they look like? Yeah, they look happy. And yet, yet you can't see, they have no faces. He's this wonderful artist who can create emotion with just stones. So this is a story of a young person. Rama, wake up. The rooster crowed every morning when we still lived at home. From my warm bed, I listened as Mama prepared breakfast, bread, yogurt, juicy red tomatoes from our garden. See, we also have the words here. Does anybody know what this language is? Look at that for me. No. No. It's Arabic. <laughs> but you were all close. <laughs> yeah, it was from this planet. When I was little, not so long ago, my brother Sammy and our friends and I played on unbaked soil. We laughed, ran across rocks and sand, free as birds. When Papa came in from the fields, he would sit for a time under the orange tree and tell stories of our ancestors. In that not so distant memory, we were free. Free to play, free to go to school, free to buy fruit and vegetables at the market, free to laugh and chat, drink tea with neighbors, always three cups. And that was then, and this is now. Back then, Jado, my grandfather, fished. Papa worked in the fields. Mama sewed silk scarves for me and my dolls, wrapped in silk and hugs. I didn't know our lives would soon change forever. But Jado said we weren't really free. If we're not allowed to sing our songs, to dance our dances, to pray our prayers of our choice, are we really free? Then war came to our country. Life in our village changed. Nothing was as it had been. Soon there was not enough food. Rama, share this bowl of soup with Sammy. I didn't know then that Mama would go hungry. But we still had Mama's hugs and Jado's arms to hold us. Then the birds stopped singing. People began to leave our village. First a trickle, then a stream across dusty fields under a burning sun. A stream driven by hope, mothers, fathers, children, seeking a better place, a better life. A river of strangers in search of a place to be free, to live and laugh and love again. In search of a place where bombs did not fall, where people did not die on their way to market, a river of people in search of peace. At first, when our neighbors left, I didn't mind. I had Papa and Mama and Jado and Sammy. I still had friends. We waved goodbye, not knowing they wouldn't come back. And when the bombs fell too close to our home, Mama and Papa became frightened for all of us. One day, Jado told Sammy and me that it was time, time to join the river of people, time to leave all that we knew. That night I lay in bed because I 
I knew I would never again hear the crow of the rooster, the creak of the gate, the bleat of the goat. Sammy and I said goodbye to the flowers in our yard, to our goat, to the soil we called home, and then we walked. We walked, sometimes alone, but mostly with many others, every time fleeing the war, running away. Papa carried little Sammy on his back. When I grew so tired and cried, Papa told me we were walking toward a bright new future. We walked to the end of the earth, and when we reached it, there was the sea. When we arrived on land once again, Mama and Papa planted seeds to grow flowers. And on we walked, tired, I was so tired, my feet felt like rocks, my legs were trees rooted in soil, and we walked and we walked. At last, we came to our future. New neighbors welcomed us with open arms. I heard their voices, but didn't understand. But when I saw their smiles, I knew what the words meant. Stay, they said. Stay here with us. You will be safe now. We have a new home now, a home with new sounds and smells, with stories and people who help us. Will this always be home? Or will we go back? We're the lucky ones, they call us. New memories, new hopes, new dreams. Not of war, but of peace. Thank you. You can now go to your classes. <laughs>